Hey guys, this is Dan Harvey from Clarksville, Tennessee. Thought I'd take a minute to show you some of the upgrades I did to my twin trailer X10 trailer. We'll talk about the boat in another video. But uh, there's my boat. You can see it sitting down on the floor of my garage. And the reason for is because I've got my boat uh, sitting out there on sawhorses. Let me show you. And here's the trailer to my twin trailer X10. This is the stock trailer that came as part of the package. But I'm gonna run through and show you some of the upgrades I did that I thought improved not only the quality of my life, but it eliminated a lot of the grief factor that I was having with different variables. Uh, let me start out with talking about the tires. They're a little bitty. And uh, unless you can find somebody who's got a magic machine that can do it, they're hard to balance. Some people say they don't need to be balanced. But uh, I tend to run down the interstate at, you know, 70, plus miles an hour, I won't say exactly how fast, but them little babies are spinning their hearts out. So I thought, what can I do? I decided to buy some beads that I can stick in there. Uh, there's tire beads that I got for that particular size tire. I forget how many ounces, they've got a chart that'll tell you, but I decided to put them in to help me with the balance. You also see that I have the guide posts and the rails on each side. They have little lights on them. And really cool for me, you can see how high my truck is. When I'm backing up with this boat, it disappears behind me. So especially in the evening or low light hours, it gives me a chance to see what's going on. Now in the back, you'll notice I put these uh, boat buckle straps in. They're ratcheting straps that just hook up over the back of my boat and I can ratchet them down. Very nice, uh, highly recommend it. You don't have to cinch them down too tight. It's just to keep the boat from sliding backwards if you hit one of those mega bumps. Uh, let me come around this side, get the light behind me. LED lights is what we put on everything. And you can see that I put uh, shrink wrap uh, around these weatherproof connectors. And here's an example of the connectors right there. Those things will also heat down or shrink down when I'm using a hot air gun. And uh, yep, I did use every one of them darn tools. I started out soldering. I thought that'd be a cool idea to take care of my wires. And we were off to a good start until my soldering iron quit. And it quit working on me. You can see there's my solder connection. I put liquid tape on it. Uh, Lord willing, that'll hold. I have one other solder joint here. Probably need to put a little more liquid tape on it. I haven't put my clips on yet to hold the wires in place. I'll do that after I'm done making this video. But uh, in addition to uh, the post, you'll see I've got these tie downs right here. And that's so I could put a strap from one side of the boat to the other. And I just do that for an extra measure to keep it from bouncing around. Because my boat does have the, the Honda outboard on it. Love it. Uh, <laughs> slightly faster than the trolling motors. I think I could top at about three and a half miles an hour with my trolling motors. Full, full speed ahead and the, the outboard gives me an extra mile per hour. Uh, you also see that I put brackets on to protect the light. Um, I think that was a good idea for me to be able to do that. But in order to do it, I had to do the opposite of what the instructions say. I had to flip this bracket around so it was closer to the fender, giving me room to be able to put that in there. Uh, it's a little pain to get them nuts and washers on the back, but well worth it. I also upgraded the LED lights on the side, or excuse me, the marker lights to LED. Just thought that was better and they were sealed along with the sealed headlights. Here's something I did that's made a huge difference for me personally. My boat was doing a lot of bouncing in the front. Even though I set the, the, the bunks up the way they were supposed to be, there's a lot of weight forward. Matter of fact, I've measured the tongue weight on this trailer it's right around 80 pounds that's pretty heavy for such a little trailer my uh tracker all fish which is an 18 foot boat only has about 110 on it and this little bugger has about 18. uh but i added this bunk this is southern yellow pine just got some of the carpet material there and i just folded it over nice and neat got me some brackets i think i went to academy sports and got the brackets made my little bunk and you can see the wear mark that means it works. It's helping to support the front end of my boat. Again, keeping it from bouncing going down the highway. Uh, I had a spare tire mount, thought that was helpful. Uh, put a lock on it so honest people stay honest. And you'll notice this bracket is not the bracket that came with it. 
That's because after going through two brackets and bending them suckers, I decided to get me one and, and have my uh, welder welded up. Quarter inch aluminum made exactly as the other one. And let me just say, been to Michigan and back, this thing hasn't budged at all. Absolutely love it. A good investment. I don't know why the Smith trailer doesn't beef up the one they've got. But that's something I did. Um, the other thing I did is I added this little bracket for... Sorry for the upside down view here, guys. But this little thing just helps me load things. I don't have to reach down, worry about pinching my fingers, trying to get this thing on the ball. Plus, I stay away from the ball hitch so I don't get grease on me. Um, that's the other thing that I did to the actual trailer itself. So there you have it. Uh, that's my upgrades and improvements that I've done to my Twin Troller X10 trailer. It's the Smith Multisport trailer. Again, I've had this about two years now and I've uh, spent maybe two dozen, three dozen trips to the lake. Um, you know, it's amazing to me. I've, I've spent more money buying doodads and gadgets for not only this trailer, but my boat than I have my big boat. I find that quite amazing. Now, a little bit later, I'll show you what I've done in the way of upgrades to my boat. But uh, there's my big boat. <laughs> right now it's got a bunch of crap piled in it. But uh, I haven't done hardly any upgrades to it since I bought the darn thing. New fish finder and that's about it. But this thing, boy, it sucks the money out of my pocket and I love doing it. It's uh, become my little, I call it the old man's kayak because it's easy to get in and out of. I don't tip over and when you're a, a big guy like me, it just makes it real handy. Well, there you have it guys. I'm going to say over and out for now.